housing market is notorious in Los Angeles, and that is no different for wildlife. In a highly urbanized area, it can be hard to find the right habitat to start a home. For species that have specific housing requirements, this can make for some intense searching and even battles over prime real estate. The tree swallow is a small and highly aerobatic bird which can catch insects with their flying skill. Sometimes we call them flying vacuum cleaners as they swallow up insects with wide open mouths. This species is found only in North America and is highly migratory, though California is one of the few places where they can be found year round. At the Biona wetlands, most tree swallows are here for only one reason, to find a mate and start a family. These little birds prefer habitats with lots of open space near bodies of water, like the Biona freshwater marsh and riparian corridor. Here, they can swoop, dive, and glide over the water to catch their favorite prey. Mmm, yummy, bugs. Tree swallows are named for their use of trees during the breeding season. They are cavity nesters, meaning they seek out holes and crevices in trees, particularly old woodpecker cavities, to build a nest. Most cavities are found in dead trees, but in urban areas where dead trees rarely remain standing for long, nest boxes are a hot commodity on the tree swallow housing market. In a competitive market, there can be battles over prime real estate, but once any counter offers have been dealt with and a nesting site is secured, the female begins to build a nest, which is defended by the male. Materials from the surrounding area, often grasses, are gathered and packed into the space. Feathers from various bird species are collected and used to line the nest. Dad helps out with this fun task, often catching feathers before they hit the ground. Now, the house is a home. With the home secured and the nest made, all that is missing is offspring. From year to year, tree swallows have shown faithfulness to their breeding sites, if not always to their mate. Tree swallows typically have four to seven eggs in their nest, which start a pale pink and turn to bright white. After two to three weeks of incubation, done mostly by mom, but sometimes with help from dad, the eggs hatch to reveal helpless, nearly featherless chicks that will keep their parents busy feeding them for the next 15 to 25 days. The parents will go out to catch a variety of insect prey that they bring back to share with their hungry chicks. With each return, their wide mouths open to receive the nutrition needed to survive. Parents may feed as many as 7,000 insects in a single day continuously feeding for 15 hours each day. Could you imagine cooking and grocery shopping nonstop for nearly a month? Sounds exhausting. And yet, day by day and week by week, the baby tree swallows grow in size and gain feathers until they are ready to leave the nest. After less than a month, the chicks are ready to survive on their own. The older chicks leave the nest first until none remain leaving their parents happy empty nesters. So happy, they just might nest again. But when the nesting season is complete, the home that was fought over, carefully furnished, and saw the rapid growth of chicks, now stands empty. Its purpose fulfilled. But with each new breeding season, it stands ready to be the safe haven for another tree swallow family. At Friends of Biona Wetlands, we have been monitoring and maintaining the tree swallow nest boxes in both the freshwater marsh and the riparian corridor for the last three years. Recognizing the lack of suitable nesting habitat for tree swallows, part of our work has been to build and place nest boxes for the swallows. Then as each breeding season arrives, staff, interns, and volunteers check the nest boxes once or twice a week to monitor which have been claimed when and how many eggs have been laid, and how many chicks survived to fledge the nest. With each season, we gain more information and knowledge about how to best help tree swallows survive in our urban environment and the reciprocal influences we have on each other. While we help provide homes for the tree swallows, 
they quote unquote pay their rent by acting as natural pest control and consuming bothersome insects like mosquitoes. There really is no place like home, regardless of the species inhabiting it. As Friends of Bana Wetlands continues to better understand the home and habits of our local tree swallows while also protecting their environment, we hope you will learn with us and take action. Check out our website for more resources and to support our important work. Thanks for watching.